And Dhoni, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, incredible run at the moment. Unbeaten in four games. You've won four of your last six in the Premier League. You must be really enjoying this moment with the players, with the group, with the football, with the results. Well, obviously we are we are uh, happy with the last performances, but the I don't know if the good or the bad thing is that we don't have time even to enjoy it. Is you have to be ready again because tomorrow we have a, a very tough game in, a, in Old Trafford, and we have to prepare physically and also mentally. You no, know? sometimes, especially this week, no, we play away midweek game away again now Saturday early game, so mm, I think we. We need uh, to switch on very early, starting from today's training, because the, the demand of to tomorrow's game will be really high. The results at the moment are such a contrast from six weeks ago. Was there ever a moment in that period where you, you really struggled to get the results you wanted, that you feared for your job, you feared that the club might look at you and go, this is not working? Obviously, when you are not getting the the results, you you know you have to improve you, at the end. But uh, we had a very clear what we wanted to do, how we want to play, and uh, the way uh, we want to do it. No, uh, we still are in 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 this improvement phase. We are getting now the results, but uh, we know that this. Has to be our our standards, you know. It's moments with uh, players in better form, moments with different players. Probably we'll have to find the balance, but we we know that we we have to keep this level because if we go slightly lower, it's not going to be enough. Do you feel feel like this team can get better as well? There is there is much more to come from this group at the moment. Everyone, every team will get better, and we have to improve the same way because the the, the opposition improves, the league evolves, and uh, it's a, it's a continuous evolution. If you don't improve, probably you will get uh, much worse, and it's the it's the same for all the teams. I think uh, maybe what it's enough in the in September is not enough in March because all the team are improving, are finding the balance, are finding the. The, the, the better moments from each player, good combination, so we need to, to keep improving. Up next, Manchester United. I know obviously the games have, have come very close together. Have you got an injury update? Are there any players that were concerns from, from, from the game at Palace? No, that I think we have the same, uh, same, same players in the squad. Uh, we had the doubt of, of, of Junior, but he continues ill and he's with temperature and uh, he will not be able also to to be part of the of the of the squad and no no other changes and Lloyd Kelly how is he getting on is he getting closer to a return to first no election? Lloyd still is, is is not close it's not close I think the the next one we should recover is Max Max is is uh, training in his own but he's already outside and I think he's the the next one that we 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 hope we recover too soon for Saturday. Will he be available Saturday? Was that too soon? Saturday, you say tomorrow or in tomorrow. one week. Tomorrow, no chance. No, no, no. He hasn't trained with the with the team, and uh, also it's going to be very difficult. He's for next weekend, but he's the next one, you know, in the line that we we should recover. There's been a lot said about Manchester United, um, particularly over the last few weeks. The dressing room unrest, the pressure on Eric Ten Hag, the fans are unhappy. They're not seeing an identity from their side. Through your analysis of United, what are you seeing? What are you looking at in terms of a team and of performances recently? I think, uh, like every European team, they are having a, a really tight schedule. It's uh, very difficult. Uh, we are suffering in, in this week, you know, and they do this every every single week. And uh, they are getting the results and they are improving and they are being, for me, very efficient team, very efficient. They, don't, they are not conceding, especially in the league, uh, a lot of goals and, and uh, especially against teams like us, let's say in the second part of the standings, I think they've won everything except Palace, I think. The rest, they've won all the games. So it means that when when they dictate the games, when they they are controlling the, the oppositions, they are, they are just winning the games. How tough is it as a manager to keep everyone happy in the dressing room? Because you've got 11 players that play and start games, you've got players on the bench, players that don't make the squad. 
And clearly at Manchester United, there's an issue there with, with some players not happy with the manager, not happy with training, not happy with what's going on. As a manager, can you understand the, the pressures and the, the difficulties he's under to try and keep everyone happy? As, as a manager, you have to understand that it's impossible. It's just impossible to keep everyone happy. And uh, it's something normal because uh, there is a strong competition between them and they are uh, fighting for their position, for their individual chances. And uh, it's, uh, it's something that is difficult to accept, but you have to learn to accept it when you become a manager because uh, you cannot have everyone happy. You have to try to be as honest as you can with them, try not to lie them, and uh, and uh, I think the, 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 the collectiveness of the group is, is very important, the, the leaders of the groups, and but it's, it's, always, it's always difficult. And finally for me, um, one of your kind of pieces of um, philosophy, one of your philosophies, I guess, is to create history and, and make things happen and, and do new things for this football club. Bournemouth have never won at Manchester United. Of course, there isn't a long history of the two sides playing each other. How nice would it be for you to be the first Bournemouth manager to win at Old Trafford in Manchester? Uh, it would be amazing. I think it's a, it's a stadium uh, you know, that everyone wants to play in. Everyone wants to face United at Old Trafford, and we have a big chance. No? We know the demands will be really high. There is a reason for sure that we've never won there. It's because it's normally it's very difficult, and uh, we know that we have to be at our best level. And maybe being in our best level, maybe is not enough. But the only chance we have is to be our our best level, and uh, it was we should focus on. Thank you. Thank you. And only you won there as a as a player. How how fondly do you remember that day, 10, 11 years ago? Oof. It's one probably one of the best days I've been in the, in, in my football career. No, this and the the second uh, the second game against them. I think uh, to win in this kind of scenarios, so you you always remember these kind of games. No, and uh, we have the chance. Tomorrow again, no past season. Even I, we played with a friendly against Rayo Vallecano. But even if as a friendly, you don't want to lose there. You want to compete. You want to do the things well. And uh, obviously, tomorrow are point, points involved, and we we still need points. You know, because even if we are doing very well, our start of the season has been very bad. So we still are in a position where uh, we 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 need points. There's a clip on YouTube from the home leg of that Europa League tie where you picked up the ball on the edge of the area and beat three United defenders. Do you remember that? No, of course. I, uh, I will never forget it. Uh, there are very good things about this play. A very bad one. My left foot was not the best and I couldn't finish the, 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 the play. But I always, when they ask me, the players sometimes they ask me because they see in YouTube or, you know, I say, but you have to see that the most important thing is I straight away I came back running to my position, recover my position. And that is for me what I, I try to, to tell them. Yeah. So have you shown that to them or did they no, come to you with that? No chance. <laughs> Probably they haven't even seen me play. I'm sure they haven't even seen me play. One of the, the keys to um, your team winning that tie was Bielsa's famous pressing style that, that really shocked United then. How similar is Bournemouth's pressing today compared to what Bielsa introduced to you? No, I think it's, uh, it's uh, I wouldn't say completely different, but are different teams, even United's different teams, uh, different uh, systems. For sure, there are things that uh, uh, I, I like a lot from that team, uh, but uh, I don't think it's easy to compare them. Fair enough. Um, a few weeks ago, you were rotating a lot more. Now it seems a much more settled side, even with these uh, many games coming thick and fast. How how much is that helping you because of you know settled side players knowing their jobs more, but also you know with all the fitness issue and everything, is it is it a new issue or is it? Yeah, for me, it's, uh, uh, this 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 game is not an easy one to choose the starting eleven because. Uh, 
in the previous weeks where we played three games. I think the third game we've played has been the worst probably. I remember Manchester City, Arsenal, I think Brentford away. That we were not, uh, we, we, we almost won, but we were not physically the best probably. And uh, we, we have to decide. I think uh, today training players train well. Everyone looks that uh, they are recovered and they are fine, but uh, we have to think very well. We have to think very well because we 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 need to be energetic. We need to be fre uh, fresh, and uh, we we will see with the starting eleven. Yes. You mentioned earlier that for this uh, game at Old Trafford, you need to prepare physically and mentally. How do you refresh players mentally in a busy time like this? Yes, this week was 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 difficult because we played away. Palace, we arrived very late uh, and then next morning straight away you have to start putting the videos of United just to make them think, hey, okay, you haven't slept very well, you are tired, you know what? We have these guys waiting in, in, in some hours, no? So it's difficult and this is mentally demanding for you. And this is what big teams, the teams that are used to play in Europe, they play every three, four days, uh, they are used to do. and. And it's, it's very difficult for me.